Okay, I'm really curious to see if you all are going to be as excited about this Excel feature as I was. This is all built into Excel, standard features, nothing crazy complex here. Let me show you how I did it. All right, fresh page. We're going to go to the insert tab and then we're going to hit pictures and we're going to do place over cells and hit stock images. In this case, I just grabbed an image of Tokyo because I thought it'd be fun to use a city skyline and hit insert. And then I just made the image really, really big. Next, I took a screenshot of the area where I wanted to put my data. I don't know how this works on PCs. For me, I think it's Control, sh Control Alt Shift 4. But on your computer, just look up how to take a screenshot. And then I just selected the area where I wanted to place the shape. Now you're just going to paste that image in there and just get it resized to the point that it overlaps with the background behind it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get it close. All right, now drag this over to the side. Head over to the Insert tab. Get a rounded rectangle and drop that in and put it in roughly the same spot, in roughly the same size. And what I want you to do is I want you to hit Command-C to copy that old image, then click into your shape. Right-click the shape and hit Format Shape. And for your fill, you're gonna select Picture or Texture Fill, and hit Clipboard to drop in what you have on your clipboard. Make sure to remove the outline here by hitting No Line. Now, if everything's working right, this should roughly align with the background. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, we just want it to be close. We head over to picture format and we're going to do a couple things. First on corrections, we're going to make it darker and typically like three steps darker. We're going to go to artistic effects next. We're going to click on the blur one here and that's going to blur it. And then you can just go in, layer all of your text, your images, your metrics on top and voila, you got this crazy effect right in Excel. Honestly, I kind of love this. I know it's a little bit much. You wouldn't use it in every situation, but what a fun, cool thing that you can do right in Excel.